Hi guys, this is Tracy. Today I'm going to show you how to ungroup and attach this free uh, Boo Halloween Gnome SVG from this week. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to ungroup this. And as you can see, the background layer here is all black. You can leave that all together so it cuts in one big piece or you can separate it if you like. You could um, ungroup this and take the letters for the B and the O out and make that a different color, make it white if you want. You can make your bats different colors. But for right now, I'm going to attach this so this cuts all in one big piece. And then I'm going to hide that. Your purple hat and shoes here, if you wanted to change the colors of that, you could. You would ungroup it and you could come up here and make that green if you wanted to, whatever color you want to make it. And again, this is just for visual purposes on your screen here. The color of your vinyl is what's going to determine what your project looks like. But for this, I'm just going to go ahead and leave it purple, leave it all together. And I'm going to click my purple hat, hold down my shift key and the two shoes, and I'm going to hit attach. And then I'm going to hide that just so we can see what we're working on here. The orange dots here and the pumpkin, if you wanted to attach those, you could. You could, if you wanted to, I didn't leave, I didn't attach these um, dots right here. I left them unattached so that if you wanted to ungroup them and change them into different colors, you could. You could do blue, green, yellow, whatever makes your heart happy. But for this right here, if you wanted to change them to different colors, you could go up and let's just pick a few different random ones here. Okay, and then you would go through, grab all those colors, hit attach, then we know that that's all going to cut together. Alright, let me ungroup this little pumpkin here and bring all of our orange together. I'm just clicking on one, holding on the shift key, and clicking on the next one. And then I want to attach all that. And let me hide that. And then you have what you see here. Now, one thing you can do, let me go back and bring this orange back here and let me unattach it. For your pumpkin layer here, if you wanted to, if you wanted to cut out little notches where your hands go right here, you could do that. Let me bring this here. So this you would have to ungroup. And your hands, these are all three individual pieces. So if you wanted to slice these hands from your pumpkin, you would need to weld your hands together first. So what I'm going to do for this, just to give you an example of what you can do, I want to duplicate this. And then I want to weld those hands. Okay, now those hands are one piece. The reason that I'm welding these, in Design Space you can only cut, you can only slice two images. You can't do three. Unless you do them individually, you could do it that way. But, but to do it like this, I welded these together so now this is one um, element rather than two. So I want to take these and I want to put them right over top of where my other ones are. And then I want to grab my pumpkin. So I already have this. Hold your shift key and click on the pumpkin and then hit slice. Okay, now I want to delete those other pieces there, all the pieces that I just sliced out. Okay, and now what's left is I have the pumpkin, the hands that I had already had there before, that's what's left. So you could take those and you could grab your nose and attach that if you like. So now you see you have little holes right here where his hands are going to go. So now when we bring everything back, let's see, I'm going to bring those the orange back together and I'm going to attach those and let's bring our other stuff back bring him to the front so we can see him let's make my screen a little smaller here so we can see what we're doing Send that to the back. Again, this is just for your visual. Now when I'm putting my designs together, when I'm putting my project together, I keep my screen up so I can see where everything is lining up so that when I go to a put it together, I know that it's in the right place. And what I mean by that is, let's say you've already put your black layer down and you want to put your beard on next. 
well, you're not really sure if it goes here or if it goes down farther. So I like to take all my elements and put them back together so that when I go to press my design, I can pretty much tell where everything lines up. So I can look at my screen or my phone or whatever I have pulled up at that time and see where everything goes. Just makes your design easier to put together so you don't have to second guess where everything is supposed to be lined up on your design. If you wanted to take your black back here um, and then take your face and move it down and then attach it that way you could so that it cuts on one piece, I probably would not attach that. But I hope this is making sense to you guys. What I'm talking about here, sometimes the thoughts in my head come out a little faster than um, what I'm trying to show you here. Okay, so now you would go and you would make this. And then you can see how this is attached right here. And these are all your other pieces down through here. Now, on this little stem right here, if you wanted to save some time, you absolutely could move this. Let's say we want to move it over here. Click on this button, move object, and let's say you want to put it on this map. As long as you remember that this is supposed to be brown, you would put a piece of brown vinyl right here on this mat, and this is your white, then it saves some time, you don't need as many mats. But also remember, if you're going to do HTV, you need to mirror this. Okay, so you can flip that around, but you need to do it for each mat that you use. Okay, so you'd want to go through. Now you could take this, and let's say you wanted to move this to the white one. Okay, so you always want to make sure that you're mirroring your design. Alright guys, hope that helps. Have a great day and thanks for being here. Make sure if you make something you bring it out over to the Facebook group and show it off because you know I love seeing what you guys make. Have a great day.